feel. Let's do vengeance here. In today's video is a 3v1. Uh, it spans from Valentine to Emerald Station, I think to Rhodes even. These guys were not too bad, honestly. Uh, this jinxed Nova, not a bad player. Um, this is kind of a weird fight because two of them were using incendiaries and like dynamite bows, but the one guy was using regular ammo. So <laughs> you'll see me flip back and forth between the incendiaries and regular ammo because I'm trying to be fair, right? Um, even in the, you know the circumstances given. But yeah, this is quite an entertaining fight. Um, it started with just some emotes, you know, like they laughed at me, I gave them the finger, flipped them off, and then right there you seen them try to break my death. And if you're trying to do that, that means you're trying to, they wanted to fight in Ottawing. If I was out in Ottawing, they would have shot me by now. Um, so... I took the fight to them this time, uh, and you'll see they get pretty fucked up. saw in a board and I'll cut it I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it well we worked so hard to build a little house together in the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind whenever no matter what the weather we're together Let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind. So at this point they disband, they kind of run away. I see this guy. He looked to be heading out towards Emerald Station. Um, so I figured that's where his friends were. Maybe he just didn't have the money to fast travel. Maybe he knew I was right on his ass. But anyways, I followed closely in pursuit and 
surely enough, they're here. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like fighting out here. However, I actually fucked these guys up pretty good out here in Emerald Station. Uh, I play really close to like the structures around here. Um, I think that's what really helps me out, but yeah, they get smashed pretty good here. If you are a free aimer, or a PvPer in general, um, I think one of the most helpful pieces of advice I can give you is, like, it's okay to avoid confrontations, like, wait until uh, things benefit you more. Like, I just kind of stood around this area, um, I wasn't trying to snipe with them, because typically that's 3v1, I'm not going to win that. Um, so you play your strengths, you know, let them get close, and they didn't have that close range to deal with me, and that's pretty evident by the gameplay. So I have an unwritten rule that if you respawn um, on me, I'm going to respawn on you. That's just kind of what's right is right, you know. Uh, I typically try not to respawn first. Depends on how toxic people are being. Um, if I know it's just going to be a toxic battle, like, it's kind of part of the game. Um, I'm not going to give people the satisfaction.
Tell him quit this fucking guy. Eagle-eyed viewers will notice I use a, a Gravesend Bola here. Um, it's a very costly Bola, but <laughs> I think that kill was worth it. Remember what I said earlier? Respawn on me, I'm gonna respawn on you. So as you see, they're just, I don't, I, I can't really tell what they're doing. <laughs> um, I took that as an admission of defeat and just kind of scampered off. So yeah, that pretty much tells the tale.